Fitting a PEI bed can be a great upgrade to your 3D printer, but like any time you change a part on a machine like this, there's a right and a wrong way to do it. In this video, I'll quickly show you how to fit one of these flexible PEI beds that has an adhesive backed magnetic plate. I'll show you how to do it the right way so you don't get any high spots or bubbles, which would ruin your first layer. The bed that I bought is from Two Trees. It has a rough and a smooth side and either side can be used for printing on. I'm fitting mine to my Artillery Sidewinder X2. This machine has a permanently fitted carborundum coated glass bed, but I'll show you how to fit two other beds as well. When you buy a PEI print surface, make sure that you buy the right one for your printer. To make sure you get the right one, measure your bed and compare these measurements to any new one you plan to buy. I've added links down in the description where you can find PEI beds for the most popular sizes of 3D printer, but always make sure that you check for yourself. PEI beds can come with a smooth or a rough surface, or both like I have. Both sides give good adhesion, but some people prefer one over the other. For me, I generally use the rough side because I feel like it gives a bit more grip, but then I'll flip it over to use the smooth side if I want a smooth bottom to a print. The first thing to do before fitting your new bed is to prepare the surface that you're going to stick the adhesive plate to. With my X2, I'll be sticking to the surface that I've been printing on, so I need to make sure I clean off any leftover filament or other contaminants. I'm using acetone, but you can also use denatured alcohol or IPA. If you have a removable print surface, like the glass on my Ender 3 version 2, or the aluminium on my CR10S Pro, then remove them and prepare the surface underneath. Once you're happy that you've removed any materials or contaminants, peel back a section of the backing on the magnetic sheet and either fold it back or cut it off like I have. This enables you to line it up with the other corners of the bed without accidentally sticking it down in the wrong place. Once you're happy that it's in the right position, then using a rag or cloth, push the exposed adhesive down in a smooth movement from one side to the other with a little pressure. Next, lift up the side that still has the backing on and remove it whilst holding it clear of the bed. When you push down this section, use the same method with the rag, but move along the edge to slowly smooth down an inch or so at a time. Again, we're trying to push all the air out in one direction to avoid bubbles. If once you've stuck it down, you notice any high spots from things like adjuster screws, then cut these sections out of the magnetic plate. Having a few small spots missing won't affect the way the plate attaches, but high spots would be a disaster. Warm up your bed to around 60 degrees and then push down all over with the rag one last time to make sure the adhesive bonds fully. After attaching the flexible PEI plate, make sure to reset your Z offset before printing as it will have changed. It's also a good idea to re-tram your bed and also to create a new mesh if you have a bed sensor. Check out one of these videos if you don't know how to do this. Click here if you don't have a bed probe, click here if you do have a bed probe like a CR or BL Touch, and click over here for specific printer models. Thanks for watching.